Hey guys, I just got a new radio. Well, a couple weeks ago. I've been using it for about a week. And now the question is, is the Yesu FT710 field, is this thing really a field radio? I mean, it's a big radio. Is it a field radio like my little Saigu G90 is? I'm going to compare the two as far as just size and um, what they are to go portable. I've had a week with it now. I've been using the uh, the new Yesu. I'll give you kind of my feelings on that, and I'm going to show the two of them together side by side and let you decide as well as what my decision is going to be on whether this is my new take-it-all-the-time portable radio or whether I should just stick with the G90. Stick around. For a long time i've been saying i wish someone would make a nice little small portable radio 100 watts with an atu basically i wanted a g90 at 100 watts we'll fictitionally call it the g100 i was just i just kind of wish that radio existed i've been searching for something like that i actually purchased the uh, yesu ft891 and uh took it I've been out on the beach with it, had some fun with it, um, but was frustrated with the Yesu menu system. I didn't have the uh, the waterfall, the SDR waterfall, and uh, I didn't have a tuner. So it, as much as it is a loved radio for portable, uh, the FT891 wasn't for me, and I sold it. And I kept looking around for that radio. Well, I kind of settled we will call it settling, but it, you know, coming across the Yesu uh, FT710, I was like, "Hey, man, this is this looks like it. It's got uh, it's got everything I need. It's got a um, it's got a waterfall. It's got a, a built-in ATU. I mean, that's kind of the radio I'm looking at, but it might be just a little big. Well, here, let's take a look at it side by side with the what I've been using portable for now almost four years, three and a half, four years. Uh, the Zygu G90." So there it is. What a thing of beauty. Just a beautiful radio. Really is. Um, great audio. Yeah, with just the speaker here. I don't have the AESS attachment speaker. I just got the field radio. But there it is. Okay, would you say you can process it better? Or is the flex... You can hear how good that thing sounds. It really does. Um, things I really love about this radio, I really love the fact that, you know, not much to learn, not much of a learning curve. Just hit the function uh, key and you can uh, grab so much. Let's take for like the RF power. And there you go. So right here, as you can see, that controls my RF power until I go back and change the function key again. So many settings. I love everything about that. It's really easy. It was one of the easiest radios I've ever had to uh, to learn how to use. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Band um, tune, just like uh, any other, the, the ATU, just hold it down and tunes. Now, the tuner itself, yeah, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, it's a three-to-one, I guess, tuner. Not as, nowhere near the tuner, the ATU that's in uh, the Zygu G90 because I had an experiment with it. Um, with the infant half wave I have out back, I have just a standard, um, you know, 40 meter infant half wave. I given it a shot on 60 meters and tried to tune it. It would not tune it. Then I tried and tried it would not tune it for 60 meters. And then I just unplugged the uh, antenna and uh, plugged it into my Zygu G90. And yes, it tuned 60 meters and I made a contact on 60 meters. Now, the one thing that I have the question about, is this a field radio? Look at the size of this thing. Now I'm going to show you a little something. Let's bring in something close to it. There's the Zygu G90 next to it. That tells the tale right there. This thing is, um, you know, just <laughs> that that thing is uh, probably four times bigger in, in size, three times bigger than the Zygu G90. So there's the G90 next to it to give you kind of a, a overview of how big the thing is and the weight and what have you. Um, this, I consider, uh, we'll call it a, a portable radio. Field radio, yeah, whatever you want to say, but um, this, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a, it, it's a field radio per se. I um, think that for the for what I do, 
uh, in the long distance of going out hiking out to where I was going, let's just say a soda or poto, whatever, um, I would much rather carry that for you know a quarter of a mile through over the dunes than that. It would be kind of tough for sure. It'd be a uh, it'd be really tough. A um, few things about this too, I do like. I've got this set to uh, the waterfall. I love the waterfall, and this thing is beautiful. Uh, the waterfall to uh, the 2D. You can uh, also set it and have a 3D waterfall. As you can see there, I um, would probably need to adjust that and make it even better, but I'm just not a 3D waterfall guy. I really love the, to me, it's so simple and easy to read across the band, a nice 2D waterfall. Now, I don't have a, I don't have a uh, antenna hooked up to the G90, but um, the G90 is similar. I set the colors. I actually set the uh, colors on that big screen to kind of match somewhat like my G90. I like the blue on the bottom and uh and what have you there so that's that is uh one thing about the uh 710 ft710 is that big beautiful screen listen it is a it is a great radio it really is and i'd really hate to compare the two i'm only comparing the two in size and ease how portable how easy it would be to go portable with uh with this radio and like i said this is an awesome for receive this radio is just just a great radio for sound I almost don't understand why people would want the uh, the A E A A the the A E S S whatever the uh, the external speaker for it because that speaker on the top as you can see both of these have a speaker on the top that speaker on the top is just uh, pretty amazing so there they are side by side you can take a good look at the uh, Yesu FT seven ten field next to the old G ninety it's like your G ninety. Well, there you go, side by side. Um, my thoughts. I love, absolutely love this radio, the the Yesu FT710. I've had a great week with it. Um, with just a infant half wave thrown out the back here, I have made some amazing contacts, uh, including the Galapagos Islands. So um, it's got the punch and the power that I was looking for with 100 watts. Um, not real um, excited about the tuner. Yeah, it'll tune. I mean, I, I had a hard time with the infant half wave. It would tune 12 and 17, which, okay, so it's... It's doing its job. Um, it didn't, you know, when I put it to the, uh, you know, just pedal to the mellow, the hardest test ever, it wouldn't tune the 60 meter band, which the antenna is not meant for that. I know. I just wanted to see what it, what the, uh, what it would be like for the, uh, you know, for, for the tuner and the uh, Zygu G90 did. Of course, we all know that the, if you own a Zygu G90, that thing will tune anything and, and it will. Um, look, I, I will love this radio. It's probably honestly going to be uh, my base radio, my home radio. I might take it out like on a park um, you know, somewhere where I can park real close to a picnic table and put it out. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the price of this thing is like a, a thousand bucks. I don't know if I want to go out on the beach with it either because, you know, I take that Zygu G90 that I bought for like $399 and I've had some times with it where it's just been, you know, with sand blowing. You can look at my, this is my second G90, the first one, which still works. Um, the face of it is just sand blown and uh, it's kind of tough. I don't know if I want to take a, a nice uh, Yesu FT710 out on the beach like that. Top of that, a lot of times, a lot of beaches I go to, it's a trek. I mean, you got to go over dunes, you know, pretty long walk down to get to the beach. It can get kind of heavy as well. So my final decision on this, is this a field radio? It might be for some people. It's not for me. This is not a field radio, and this is not the G90 replacement. I love the G90, and it will be the radio that hits the beach with me. Maybe the uh, FT710 will be on the dash of the Jeep if I drive out that way. Even that, it's kind of big to be up on the dash of my Jeep, to be honest with you. It doesn't fit. I tried it. It, it, it won't. There's no way. I'll have to make a bracket or something to get it up there. Now, I've fallen in love with the radio. It's going to be my base radio. I really fall in love with everything about it. it I, if you want a radio, for, uh, especially getting uh, started, the Yesu FT710 is, is awesome for your home base station. I mean, because it was so easy for me to, I honestly didn't even open the manual, just powered it up messed around with it a little bit yeah i did watch a few youtube videos on how to and settings and what have you but um 
it was uh yeah it's a great radio and i made some great contacts with it the audio is amazing i'm getting amazing audio reports on on mine coming back made some uh just unbelievable contacts with it that x that i know i've always said 20 watts is all you need there is something to having that extra having 100 watts it's a great radio i will keep it um i will have a lot of fun with it i will do a lot of videos with it when i'm at home doing stuff um i can maybe even test out different antennas with it but i love it and it's not a field radio, at least not for me. It's Let's just say it's not a beach radio. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That was as honest as I could be about the radio, about you know, compared to uh, to the, the two radios together. And um, I'm not trying to uh, disappoint anyone on them. I'm honestly so glad I own both of them. They really are my two main radios now, my main home base radio and my main portable radio as well. If you enjoy uh, HF Portable, HF Ham Radio, a little bit of 11 meters and CB radio as well. Please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. 73, my friends, stay salty.